The Jaguars and Blake Bortles looked to be on the way up in 2015. Then, Blake Bortles regressed badly and held the offense hostage. He tossed a lot of interceptions and didn't look like a good quarterback. The team has the talent on paper to be a good team, but aren't able to piece it all together. The Jaguars got Tom Coughlin as a GM in hopes he'll be able to put this team together. In typical Jaguars fashion, they loaded up on free agents with their massive cap space. They upgraded the defense even further with the signings of Calais Campbell and AJ Boye. Brandon Albert got traded over from Miami. The team upgraded all over the defense and upgraded their only weakness on offense in their offensive line. Outside of Blake Bortles, this team looks really talented up and down the roster. To help alleviate pressure off Bortles, the Jaguars got a player who might be the best player in the draft in running back Leonard Fournette. He's an old school bruiser who fits the mold of Adrian Peterson. He has excellent speed and acceleration to go along with amazing power. In the second round, the Jaguars upgraded their line even further by selecting Cam Robinson. He should be the right tackle immediately and is a mauler. The Jaguars are built to win the time possession battle with this draft. The offense has talent all over. The wide receivers of Allen Hearns, Allen Robinson, and Marquise Lee create an excellent trio on the outside. The offensive line additions of Albert and Cam Robinson should make this offense good. The addition of Fournette creates a force in the run game and can control the time of possession and keep the defense fresh. The group surrounding Bortles has excellent talent. Just like the offense, the defense looks solid on paper. In the front seven, they have Malik Jackson, Paul Puzlesny, and the new addition in Calais Campbell. In the back end, they have a potential shutdown cornerback in Jalen Ramsey. If the defense produces as well as it looks on paper, the defense has what it takes to be a dominant force. Bortles is the key piece holding this team back. He regressed massively after a pretty good second year. He has no excuse as to why he can't produce. For some reason, he just hasn't progressed like he should and played consistent. Bortles has no excuse to play bad and is the key for the Jaguars to hit the next level. In the best case, the Jaguars come together and get to 10 and 6. The potential for this team is very high and they are a potential playoff team. Bortles has to be able to play consistently and continue his development. The rest of the team plays up to their potential and play up to their talent level. In the worst case, the team can't piece it together again and finish at 4-12. It seems like every year for a while now, the Jaguars have a team to compete at a high level just to fall short. They win the offseason again, but lose in the real season. Bortles regresses again and the offensive line struggles despite improvements. The team is again looking for a franchise quarterback. In the likely case, the Jaguars are an okay team at 6-10. Their play is all over the place. One day they have the look of a dominant team, and the next day they look like the worst team in the NFL. Tom Coughlin instills discipline on the team and starts molding the team in his image. The main problem? Blake Bortles still doesn't look on his way to becoming a franchise quarterback. In the offseason, the Jaguars look for a fresh start at quarterback.